Alright guys, welcome to your 13th UDK tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be building some windows and doors. So let's go ahead and make a door first and foremost and in order to do that we're just going to have to grab our red builder brush and adjust the sizes of it. So these sizes will not do so let's go ahead and for the length of the door we can see in our bottom left the length is going to be the x-axis so let's go ahead and make that let me say 256 that looks good right there and for the Y the Y as we can see in the bottom left is going to be the width of the wall so if you forgot the width of the wall is 32 and we can verify that by going down here and measuring the width of one of these walls which is indeed 32 we can also see that each grid space is 8 in the bottom right so 8 times 4 grid spaces is 32 but nonetheless the brush size of Y needs to be 32 now for Z the Z is actually the height so let's go ahead and give this something like 320 because we want it to be taller than it is wide because doors are usually taller than they are wide so 256 32 320 let's go ahead and build this and now our red builder brush we just need to move that into place so our best bet is probably our top view if we move out here we'll go ahead and grab our red builder brush and move that into place right here and probably the best way we could get it even up is in our side view in the top right here so we already know that these two lines in our front porch we could use to align it so let's first and foremost bring this down so it sits right on top of that floor and also if we can see it isn't lined up exactly in the center if we move over one space we can see we got one full block to the left one full block to the right and it is perfectly centered we can also do this measure to the first inside of the wall which is 352 and then also on this side should be 352 as well which it is so we know that this door is centered it also is sitting on top and also as we can see in our top view it cuts out exactly in the middle of the wall so now that it's positioned correctly let's go ahead and hit CSG subtract and if we go ahead and look in our perspective view it took a nice chunk out of the wall exactly where we would want a door to go pretty cool huh so now what we need to do now that we have the door cut out we need to do the exact same thing but we need to do it for windows instead so in order to do that let's go ahead and change this to um, we'll change this, leave that at 256, we'll change the Z to 256 as well. And remember, the width of the walls are 32 all the way around, so we'll go ahead and leave that just like that. Now as you can see, first and foremost, we're probably going to notice one thing. I'm going to be adding a window to this wall right here, and this wall right here so in order to do that the first thing I need to do is grab my red builder brush and rotate it now in order to rotate this 90 degrees let's go ahead up here to your rotation mode and we're gonna wanna rotate it along the Z axis so go along and you can either do that in a perspective view or in the top view the top view is probably a little bit easier just go and drag this until it says 90 degrees and let go now let's go ahead back in our translation mode that means pretty much move it around and working in our top view still go ahead and position this wherever you want it it really doesn't matter uh, where exactly you're on it you don't I could center it if I want to but if we center everything it's just gonna look stupid I mean let's give it some flavor let's not center it exactly perfect um that looks like a pretty good so let's see it's about 224 away from that and 400 something away from that so I just wanted to verify that it was not centered however what we do need to do is as we can see in this front view it's kind of sitting a little low so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up a little bit and I would say a window probably is right around there so that looks like this window is positioned pretty good I mean and I want to mention this too before I go on since this is set to my side view and this is set to my front view it's kinda of backwards because this is the front of my house right here but it's the side view according to UDK and this front view according to UDK is kinda of the side view of my house now what you can do is you can go ahead and change the viewport type but I kinda of like 
to leave them at defaults. You can obviously obviously see that this is the front of my house, even though the viewport type is the side view. I mean, it doesn't really matter. So go ahead and make sure your window is positioned exactly where you want it. And in the perspective view, you can go ahead and zoom inside your house. And now when you go ahead and hit CSG subtract, you get a nice little window cut out. So we need to do that exact same thing on the other side of the house. So go ahead and in your top view, grab that red builder brush and just go ahead and push that all the way to the other wall and zoom in to make sure you are cutting out the exact wall and go ahead and hit CSG subtract on that and it should have cut that out too. So if we were to go ahead inside this house we can indeed see that we have two windows cut out now. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. A door, a window, and another window. Pretty cool, huh? So what we can do now is actually go ahead and play this level by right clicking and hit play from here. But as you notice, it says lighting needs to be rebuilt and paths need to be rebuilt. So go ahead and hit escape, that'll take you out of your game. And in order to rebuild, just go ahead and hit rebuild all, which is right here. Again, this is build geometry only, but the build all key is the little geometry with the light. So go ahead and hit that and it's probably gonna take like 10 seconds or something. So while this is waiting, what do you guys want to talk about? Nothing? Oh, okay, I'll just sit here in silence then. Okay, there we go. So go ahead and hit close and now that everything's built nicely, we can go ahead and right click it and hit play from here. And now check it out. First thing you want to do is make sure that your door is big enough where your character can walk through it. So go ahead and walk through this a couple times. And now, I guess you can just check everything out. Maybe shoot through your window, shoot through your door, and if you want to, you can just go ahead and fall off the edge of your house. Ah! So that is our basics of how to make a simple house. Again, don't forget to save this and save selected. And that's the basics of how you make doors and windows for your house. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.